gosh, I have so much stuff to do at the end of the quarter. I know, I have so many projects. I can't believe it's already the 10th week of school. It's, it's time, time to, to film, film the 10th edition, edition of the EDS News. Now it's time for this week's chilly edition of In the Halls, where we put EDS students on the hot seat. What has no beginning, no end, and nothing in the middle? A donut. I don't know, that's a good question. Nothing. A circle. What falls without getting hurt? Rain. Like... Rain. <laughs> Leaves. A leaf. What three candies mm -hmm. can you find in a school? Three candies? I have no idea. I don't know what kidney means. <laughs> or like kids, because it's kid. Oh, you can buy like a bunch of kidneys, because there's a bunch of kids. Smarties, dum dums, and some. Um, Prisoners used to call each other. Uh, cell phones. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Oh, cell cell thingies like the cells. Cell number. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A boy fell off a 100 foot ladder, but he did not get hurt. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> Because the bottom. Was it like that way? And then like he fell like <laughs> Because he was a hundred feet tall. <laughs> he didn't fall all the way to the ground. He just um he was at the bottom of the ladder. Boom. Now for this week on what's hot, Riverdale. Riverdale is a hit TV show on the CW based off the Archie comics. The reimagined edition of the famous comic book includes captivating aspects such as murders and scandals, which have made the show very popular. Season 2 premiered on Wednesday, October 11th at 8 p.m. on The CW. Be sure to tune in to The CW to see the much anticipated Season 2 of Riverdale. That's it for this week for What's Hot. Tune in two weeks from now for an all new episode of What's Hot. This week for our upcoming events. Fall break is coming up. October 16th through 20th will be our fall break. Everyone have a safe, relaxing break next week. And now for upper school news. Are you interested in robotics? We have a teacher interested in coaching robotics this year. Parents, if your child is interested, contact Dr. Gibson as soon as possible. The whole tennis team showed up to support freshman Braden Christie at sectionals in tennis this week. He had a good season. Congratulations, Braden. And now it's time for middle school news. Congratulations to the runners who competed in last week's JB3K Middle School State Championship in Indianapolis. Our team competed against schools of all sizes in the state. Here are the runners who participated. For the boys team, Marshall Trailer in 5th grade, Brandon Foster in 8th grade, Carson Newton in 5th grade, Jacob Bernard in 6th grade, Nathan Foster in 6th grade, Kitty Pop Chenu in 8th grade, Austin Boyle in 6th grade, and Connor Boyle in 8th grade. For the girls' team, Gwen Trailer in 7th grade, Bella Sauer in 6th grade, Kylie Hamby in 6th grade, and Emma Truce in 8th grade. Congratulations to the runners and join us next week for another edition of Middle School News. Hi, my name is Katie and now it's time for our Lower School News. This week in Lower School, teachers want to remind students that as the colder months come, be sure to remain in dress code. Have a solid plain jacket with no hood for the winter months. Gnome Night has been rescheduled from the pa this past Tuesday to October 25th due to weather. Come take part in this autumn celebration. Also this week, we want to once again congratulate Andrew Foster and Jason Sogard for their participation in the state cross country meet. That's all this week for Lower School News. Tune in next time for more. And now for this week's edition of sports. Fall sports have concluded. The fall banquet was Wednesday at the login for high school girls and boys soccer and boys tennis teams. Winter sports will begin once we get back from fall break. 
Please check the EDS Sports website for practice times and locations. And that's all for this week's edition of sports. Join us in recognizing the first recipient of Evansville Day School's Founders Achievement Award, William Snyder, 1977, at the inaugural Founders Society Luncheon on November 3rd, 2017. William Snyder is a four-time Pulitzer Prize winning photographer and editor and chair of the photojournalism program at the Rochester Institute of Technology. Mr. Snyder will be at Day School on November 2nd to speak to the students about his work and career achievements. Read more about the Founders Society and William Snyder's professional accomplishments by, by visiting the Evansville Day School website. Art in the Atrium is an annual event that features professional artists from the local region and members of the Evansville Day School alumni community. EDS is proud to present Full Bloom by Daiquiri Sinclair at this year's Art in the Atrium. The event opens on November 2nd from 6 to 8 p.m. The event is free and open to the public. We hope to see you there. Thanks for joining us for the 10th edition of the EDS News. As we enter fall break, enjoy these highlights from the Hispanic Fiesta.